Krishna. Learn now, dear prince, how, if thy soul be set ever on me, still exercising yog, still making me thy refuge, thou shalt come most surely unto perfect hold of me. I will declare to thee that utmost law, whole and particular, which, when thou knowest, leaveth no more to know here in this world. Of many thousand mortals, one perchance striveth for truth, and of those few that strive, nay, and rise high, one only, here and there, knoweth me, as I am the very truth. Earth, water, flame, air, ether, life and mind, and individuality, those eight make up the showing of me manifest. These be my lower nature, learn the higher, whereby thou valiant one, this universe is by its principle of life produced, whereby the worlds of visible things are born as from a yoni. No, I am that womb, I make and I unmake this universe. Than me there is no other master prince, no other maker. All these hang on me, as hangs a row of pearls upon its string. I am the fresh taste of the water, I the silver of the moon, the gold of the sun, the word of worship in the Veds, the thrill that passeth in the ether and the strength of man's shed seed. I am the good sweet smell of the moistened earth. I am the fire's red light, the vital air moving in all which moves, the holiness of hallowed souls, the root undying. Whence hath sprung whatever is, the wisdom of the wise, the intellect of the informed, the greatness of the great, the splendor of the splendid Kunti's son, these am I, free from passion and desire. Yet am I right desire in all who yearn, chief of the Bharatas, for all those moods, soothfast or passionate or ignorant, which nature frames, deduce from me, but all are merged in me, not I in them. The world, deceived by those three qualities of being, wotteth not me who am outside them all, above them all eternal. Hard it is to pierce that veil divine of various shows which hideth me, yet they who worship me pierce it and pass beyond. I am not known to evil doers, nor to foolish ones, nor to the base and churlish, nor to those whose mind is cheated by the show of things, nor those that take the way of Asuras. Four sorts of mortals know me, he who weeps, Arjuna, and the man who yearns to know, and he who toils to help, and he who sits certain of me, enlightened. Of these four, O Prince of India, highest, nearest, best, that last is, the devout soul, wise, intent upon the one. Dear above all am I to him, and he is dearest unto me. All four are good and seek me, but mine own, the true of heart, the faithful, stayed on me. Taking me as their utmost blessedness, they are not mine, but I, even I myself. At end of many births to me they come, yet hard the wise Mahatma is to find that man who saith, All is Vasudev. There be those, too, whose knowledge, turned aside by this desire or that, gives them to serve some lower gods, with various rites constrained by that which moldeth them. Unto all such worship, what shrine they will, what shapes in faith, tis I who give them faith. I am content, the heart thus asking favor from its god, darkened but ardent, hath the end it craves, the lesser blessing. But tis I who give, yet soon is withered what small fruit they reap, those men of little minds who worship so, go where they worship, passing with their gods. But mine come unto me, blind are the eyes which deem the unmanifested manifest, not comprehending me in my true self, imperishable, viewless, undeclared, hidden behind my magic veil of shows, I am not seen by all, I am not known, unborn and changeless, to the idle world, but I, Arjuna, 
Know all things which were, and all which are, and all which are to be, albeit not one among them knoweth me. By passion for the pairs of opposites, by those twain snares of like and dislike, Prince, all creatures live bewildered, save some few who, quit of sins, holy in act, informed, freed from the opposites, and fixed in faith, cleave unto me. Who cleave, who seek in me refuge from birth and death, those have the truth, those know me Brahma, know me soul of souls, the Aryatman, know karma, my work, know I am Adibhuta, lord of life, and Adidaiva, lord of all the gods, and Aryajna, lord of sacrifice. Worship me well with hearts of love and faith, and find and hold me in the hour of death. Here endeth chapter 7 of the Bhagavad Gita, entitled, The Book of Religion by Discernment. <laughs>